Good morning, and welcome to Thursday of the fourth week of Lent. As I said yesterday, the fifth chapter of the Gospel of John has to be one of my favorites uh, just because of the, the beauty with which Jesus speaks of the Father, that he's here to only do what the Father tells him to do, that he only wants to to say what the Father tells him to say, and that he is a complete revelation of the Father. Jesus spoke of it yesterday, and he speaks of it again today, of how when we see Jesus, we see the Father. He, he's only come to do what the Father has told him to do. In fact, even later on in the Gospel, as Philip will ask him at the Last Supper, show us the Father. Jesus' response is clear. He who sees me sees the Father. The beauty of Jesus' relationship with the Father revealed to us in the last two days. With that is um, an important understanding of the Father for us as we hear Jesus speaking of the Father. And, uh, von Balthasar, uh, who's one of John Paul II's favorite uh, theologians, uh, um, says that essentially that the Father's inability to hold back anything from the Son elicits in the Son an inability to hold anything back from the Father. Let me say that again clearly. As the Father wants to give everything to His Son, the Son therefore wants to hold back nothing from the Father. So the Father gives everything to the Son and the Son gives everything to the Father. God holds nothing back God is the Father is always pouring His love into Jesus. Jesus gets everything from the Father. The Father wants everything in His heart to be received by His Son. And therefore, Jesus wants everything from the Father. He wants to give everything to the Father. So there's this mutual everything between the Father and the Son, if you get that. That the Father gives everything to the Son, and the Son gives everything to the Father. Everything. And that's good news for you and I, because it's important for us to believe that God wants to give everything to us. Everything. And I think a lot of times we, we ask God to bless us, or we ask God to intervene in our life, and what happens is, like we show up to God with a, a, shot, gl a shot glass, and, and God wants to give us Niagara Falls. Like, like, like the question for us today is how small is God for you? Not how big. I think a lot of times it's we believe that God is small. He doesn't want to give us everything. And, and as Jesus talks to the Father, like there's a real encouragement to us today to believe that the Father wants to give us everything, to hold nothing back. As we continue to go through our day today, Let's believe in God's desires. Let's offer our desires to the Father. And let's believe that in Jesus, God wants, desires, longs to give us everything. God bless you.